Good morning, everybody. It is... It is time. <laughs> Mario 3D World is finally now on the Switch. And I could not be more excited about it, even though I'm, you know, kind of subdue right now. But that's just because I'm still waking up. And all that jazz. So, kind of the uh, plan of operations for this stream is that <clears throat> it'll probably be... My goal right now is for three hours, um, so like the first 90 minutes of both the main mode, uh, like the main game of 3D World, and then we'll jump into Bowser's Fury and uh, do the first 90 minutes of that. And I intentionally chose this, this shirt because Bowser's Fury. So, without further ado, because honestly I could have started, if I wasn't streaming I would have already been playing this, um, and yeah, I, I use Smash Ultimate as my sort of pre-stream back <clears throat> background music, um, so, let us hop in. Bump up the volume a little bit for myself. Okay, so yeah, this is this is how the title screen um, looks. So you get to choose either between 3D World or Bowser's Fury. Uh, for the time being, we will start with 3D World. <laughs> oh man, so I played 3D Land on the 3DS to absolute death, and it is one of my top five favorite games on the system. In fact, uh, I, I busted my 3DS back out both to play a little bit of 3D Land, but also I've been becoming obsessed with WarioWare again. <laughs> uh... But yeah, 3D Land was one of my absolute favorite games for the system. And I've never gotten to play 3D World. I've... Well, the, I think I did actually play, like, the first level on a demo kiosk in a Best Buy at, at one point or another. But it was just, just a demo kiosk, so really only one level, more or less, that I've gotten to play of this game. But now, get to actually play through the whole game. So, I think just for the time being, I will just stick with good old Mario. It is some sort of festival. Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad come across a what appears to be a broken pipe, and one of the few instances of Mario and Luigi actually doing any plumbing. And out comes just all this stuff. Oh, you can actually skip the cutscene if you want to. I'm not going to because, you know, this is my first time viewing this. But yeah, Bowser is capturing all these little... Uh, they're called Sprixies. And putting them into glass jars. <laughs> this is before putting things in glass jars had a different connotation. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, Peach, for some reason, is the first one that goes through the pipe uh, to chase after Bowser. Make of that what you will. And 
and Mario gets an interesting angle. <laughs> Starting off great here. But, uh, yeah. So this reminds me, um, I, is it on my other monitor? Gosh darn it. It is. <laughs> uh, let's just switch over to it. I meant to pull this up sooner because I'm wanting to do the first 90 minutes of both modes. I'm going to pull up a stopwatch. Hey, good morning, Jordan. How How is it going? Don't mind me, I'm just getting a stopwatch pulled up because I'm going to be doing the first 90 minutes of... Oh, can you not hear the game sounds? Oh, shoot. Oh. How about now? <laughs> Um, okay, good. <laughs> good. Um, yeah, don't know why it was like that. A little louder? Okay. That should be uh, about good. We can fiddle with things as we go along <laughs> didn't really realize that I that this is a, a thing um that I guess if or maybe the arrow was here to to begin with but uh yeah let us begin in Super Bell Hill so let's see oh Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for hosting. Oh jeez. I feel like maybe I should, uh, <laughs> change the, uh, I feel like maybe I should change that alert in spec in particular because it does use the Family Feud theme, and even though it's kind of like a fun little reference type thing of like, oh, yeah, Steve Harvey's the, the host of Family Feud. Uh, still, I think just for the sake of not <laughs> playing potentially, like, I, I don't know, like, DMCA-able, um, music, um, I should probably change that, <laughs> uh, at some point. I just haven't gotten around to it. But... Okay, so yeah, I I got that first green star in not exactly the intended way. Yeah, it might be DMCA, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So yeah, there are these clear pipes that kind of, you know, act like uh, regular pipes, more or less. Because they transport you. Yeah, you can see the the goal pole that's up there but we still have some more level to go through so with um both 3d land on the 3ds and this game if you see in the lower left you see i have another super bell um you can actually store spare power-ups kind of like the new super mario brothers games on the handhelds and uh, Super Mario World did that as well so yeah kind of bring that back uh, this is a stamp stamps um, you can use in the photo mode to um, if I how do you do this not like that those are filters I'll figure it out later. <laughs> hey, good morning, Rock On. How how's it going? I uh, playing some Mario 3D World because this game just came out today, and I 
have I've been looking forward to it for such a long time. And I almost fell off the edge right in the first level. So, this Mega Mushroom you're supposed to use to bust down these bricks to get to here, but there are actually ways of getting there without the Mega Mushroom. And I'm actually going to roll back because there's a Super Bell here, so then it can become a cat again. <laughs> um, is there any sort of action guide? No, oh, well, guides probably in there. Oh yeah, there's a whole action guide that you can look at for the all the different controls if if you so need. Um I'm just I'm just curious. Oh, just about the camera. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, as a cat you can climb up walls and the like. And not just walls, but also the goal pole if you don't hit the top right away. I, I still don't... I don't like how they they meow when they're cats. It's just so unsettling. <laughs> but... Yeah. So that is the first course down, all three green stars and the stamp. Um, green stars, they are they are used for uh, level progression. So, um, actually, let, let's switch over to Luigi. Uh, green stars, um, are used for unlocking courses. Eventually, you get to points where you have to have a certain number of green stars in order to progress. So it, it is in your best interest to uh, collect any and all that you can. All right. I'll just get this for the sake of demonstration. Um, yeah, Fire Flower works like a Fire Flower does in every other Mario game. Uh, let's see. Nope. Come on. There we go. So, this little area, uh, right here, like these little alcoves, um, you can actually use one of these nearby Koopa shells to just farm for infinite lives, but I'm not gonna do that right now because, for one, I don't entirely know the technique of it. Um, and second of all, I mean, I don't really wanna farm too much for lives, but I'll just try to do this just for the sake of demonstrating it, if I can. Oh. Yep, just like that. <laughs> I now have 30 lives and counting. I don't want to do that too much and abuse it. I just want to demonstrate it. <laughs> oh! And that's right, um... Each character uh, controls just a little bit differently, so Luigi is a little bit floatier, a little bit slipperier, slipperier than Mario, but he has a higher jump. Um, so, if, yeah, just something to, to keep in mind, especially if you're playing multiplayer, because everyone has to be different uh, characters. And so that that might affect who who you want to play as, and and all that. I'm, oh shoot. Um, I'm pretty sure up here is some sort of secret. I can see a little a little alcove up here. Yep. <laughs> or is this just like? Like a warp zone from um, other Mario games. Oh wait, nope, it is <laughs> just just coins. It is just coins. Oop. There we go. So, yeah, you can you can enter shells and stuff like that. Sounds good. Sounds good. Enjoy. Enjoy the lurking. Uh, 
So this right here is a mystery box, which you have to not die and complete whatever challenges set before you in order to earn a green star. So, and if you do not beat the mystery box by the time the time runs out, then in order to attempt it again, you have to restart the level. <laughs> so, gotta, gotta keep that in mind. Um, there are also, yeah, hidden blocks. So, it's another thing to keep in mind. And here is Le Stamp. Uh, just trying to... Oh, no. Last green star is just right here. Did not mean to do it like that, but I did. <laughs> uh, let's just exit, the, exit the, the level at this point. Well, I'm, I've also been replaying a bit of new, uh, new Super Mar new Super Mario Brothers, um, U Deluxe, so I still kind of want to use the the triggers to do the midair stall. <laughs> Just as course clear on on stream because my camera is blocking that. It's, I, I pulled up just some gameplay, like pre-release gameplay, um, last night, just so then I can figure out, like, okay, where's the, the best way to, uh, where's the best spot to position my webcam for this? Welcome to a Toad House. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. So, I'm pretty sure one of these is only a mushroom, and the other is something better. I just got a mushroom. <laughs> well, yeah, and it uh, it changes every every time, so it's yeah, not always the same. Is this that's just always a coin? So not really, not really worth it. Charge and chuck blockade. So yeah, every so often you encounter enemies on the world map. Um, you know, try not to die, but, uh, let's use the, the mushroom that I just got. Oh, I'm gonna actually die on this, aren't I? Nope. Whoop. Mine! <laughs> um, should probably change over to another character just to, to show off what they are like. Probably... Probably switch over to Toad. Um, Toad uh, runs the fastest, but he has the worst jump height. So, uh, yeah, that's that is a very very short hop, but he does appear to to jump or not jump. Uh, run pretty pretty far, so that is good. Uh, nothing of interest there, really. Uh, try not to die on the, the first enemy. That would be helpful. Anything? Thank you. Thank you. Have at least something, and... <laughs> yeah. Watch this. He just goes. And I... Oh my gosh, that is... That is something. Okay. Ooh, ooh, there, there is a uh, something over here. If I can get to it, ah, uh, just, just a life, which are not really useful to me at this point because I showed off that that uh extra live, uh extra lives, uh exploit. <laughs> so, let's hop in the pipe and try to get this green star. Oh, I hope this doesn't require the cat suit to, like, go up on the walls. Oh, shoot. Uh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Do a spin jump. Oh, that was, 
nice um, clutch recovery for not having the the cat suit because I've lost all of them at this point. <laughs> um, do you have one? You do. Nice. Except now I'm just gonna fall way back down all the way to the start. Uh, yeah. Okay. Toad feels a little unwieldy. Unwieldy? This is what happens when I stream in the morning. <laughs> is that I cannot f form the proper words that I that I want to say. Unwieldy. Unwieldy. Wieldy, not wieldy. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, nothing from you. So, yeah. If if you haven't gathered, um, the different attributes of each character are actually based off of, uh, what is it, uh, Mario Brothers 2, um, it's, it's actually the exact same attributes from, from that game, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's an extra life to the right, we won't worry about that. Notice of Exploit doesn't use it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I won't use it until, like, I get to the much later stages, which, I mean, that's, it's not really necessarily going to be on stream, but, um, if you know anything about this game, you know of the final level, um, that you get after you've, um, completed the game 100%, and you kind of need... <laughs> Each and every life you can get to be quite honest because it is actually that difficult from what people have said um although I've I'll I'll wait and see to uh, Judge whether or not It's actually difficult because I mean I've been playing Mario games my whole life Sounds good. Uh, let's see a see a rock on love you, too. We're up to, to 10 green stars, and actually, coming up on the, the end of this world, have you tried connecting and playing with friends? No. <laughs> no. But yeah, that that is the, the nice thing about this game, is, um, okay, hold on. But before I say that, like, Cat Toad, why do you have to have your butt that high up in the air? Just why? You don't need to just have your butt just all up in the air for everyone to see. Anyways, uh, you can hit R on the map to start uh, either local wireless play uh, between multiple Switch systems um, that all have a copy of the game, or online play if you have people on your friend list who also have the game. Um, if you just want to play local all-in-one system, you just have to hook up another controller, and you can just start. Um, I guess what character I choose doesn't really matter for, for this stage, because this is a Plessy stage. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. Control your speed by tilting up and down on the stick. Jump by pressing B. When playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher when everyone is working together. Are you ready? Then let's get going! And it uses the slider theme from, from Mario 64. That's... it's neat. So yeah, it's a... Uh, sort of... I guess not entirely like on-rails type thing. Well, I mean, technically it is, but yeah. Just sliding down a waterfall. Not gonna go for the red coins because at this point it's not really necessary for me to do so. Um, I'm pretty sure yeah, there's a green star up here, or not 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 a green star, but it is it is still green. So I will still count that. Oh, in the waterfall here is a green star. Now. I'm pretty sure you have to play this level twice in order to get 100% because there's um, the stamp on the other 
the other route. So I will just hop back in and get that just while we're here. Whoop. But yeah. Um, if, if you're playing multiplayer, everyone kind of has to be on the same wavelength as to where you're going. Otherwise, you will not have a good time whatsoever. Whee! Okay, you don't have to make that noise, Toad. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> oh, man. The, the cats... I, I don't exactly know if their decision to have the main power-up be based on cats just because cats are cool, or um, this game originally came out in 2013, when kinda, eh, there, there was a different era of memes on the internet and cats, like, videos of cats were, I mean, probably not as big back in 2013 as they were, like, a couple years prior, but cat, like, videos of cats on the internet, like, that's just kind of always been a staple, I guess. Like, without fail, you can just search in YouTube, um, like, videos of cats, um... That was a window sound. <laughs> I should um, probably have changed it to where um, those don't uh, play, but too late at this point, I guess. Um, but yeah, videos of cats on the internet, without fail, they are... You can always find them. Whee! Okay. Um, kind of wish that you didn't have to play through this stage twice in order to, in order to get everything, but it, it is a short enough stage that it, it doesn't really matter too much, so I don't really mind. But yeah, that's, the, it is kind of the, the whole, uh, shtick of... Um, these linear Mario games kind of starting from, uh, I mean, it is probably started with Mario U, um, I mean, it was more prevalent with, with Mario U that each stage kind of has its own sort of gimmick to it, and so that, that kind of helps to make things uh, more fresh, which, which is nice. I kind of prefer that than more so samey stages that are all kind of using the same sorts of, uh, gimmicks. So this right here, uh, is a slot machine. Hit the blocks and make the pictures line up. You could win up to 777 coins. Get an extra life for every 100 coins you collect. So... I'm pretty sure it's just based off of what picture you match them all on. Not, nece uh, not necessarily that each picture gives you different values, so... Okay. Shoot. Okay, well, I mean, 200 coins. I was going based off of the, the music. Um, just kind of going off the, the same, uh, beat for each measure, because that's, that's kind of what I've gathered from watching footage, uh, over the years of this game, is that it, if you base your timing off of that, then you should, um, you should match them no problem. Let's, uh, switch over to Peach and show her off, so... I'm pretty sure she runs the slowest, but if you hold down jump, she will float for a little bit. So... There we go. Um, so yeah. Um... 
Yeah. So, this game was originally on Wii U, and you could use the gamepad to, like, poke and interact with stuff. But because if you're playing the Switch in docked mode, you don't have access to the gamepad, you can instead hit the R bumper to interact with things. So, it's, I guess, up to you if you want to um, use that. I mean, there are some uh, situations where you are actually forced to use it. And I mean, you don't have to use it here, but... <laughs> this is just showing off how exactly, I guess, uh, powerful the the pointer is uh, there we go come on let me through <laughs> now I'm pretty sure yep there is a mystery box up here and I'm pretty sure that the the green star is just nope it is not there shoot well Oh, it, it's all the way in the back corner. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> can I... Well, I can... I can freeze him, I can't kill him with the pointer, but... <laughs> yeah, you can just kind of completely disregard... Um, level design. Just like that. If you really want to. Uh... Yeah, I don't need the extra time, to be honest. And I forgot that there were coins there. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm not gonna hit all these because... Stamp. And... Easy way to hit the top. I mean, to get up there anyways, you need the cat suit, so... If you don't hit the, the top right away, then, uh... Yeah, you st you'll still need the cat suit anyway, so it's kind of a irrelevant point. It's, uh, right here, you can actually... Well, you can actually... Uh, it is the first of the Captain Toad stages. Um, before Captain Toad got his own game, which, if you haven't played it, play it. It is so good. Captain Toad. <laughs> uh, essentially, these are like puzzle levels. Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. Got him safely through the course in his search for five green stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Move the camera, yada yada yada. Yes, he cannot jump. So, um, yeah. That's that's where the, the puzzle aspect comes in, is you cannot jump, so you have to plan your movements accordingly. And, I mean, this is a pretty basic course. I'm, I mean, kind of has to with it being the first course. Um, I've, I've actually, I have completely 100%ed Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And, yes, if if you have not played it, I highly, highly encourage anyone and everyone that has a Switch, even if you still only have a Wii U. I mean, if, if you still have a Wii U at this point, you probably already have Captain Toad. But if you have one of those systems, play Captain Toad. It is, it is so good. Although, if you get the Switch version, you can play the extra DLC. For, that's like for five bucks. Uh, you can use the right stick uh, to control the camera in single player or on other courses too. Give it a try. Yep, and you can also do it on the world map. If you want to. Let me get some water. Anyways... Right up here. Yes, this is what I was talking about. Um, 
you will encounter these roadblocks where you have to have a certain number of green stars in order to unlock a level in order to proceed. So if you're not getting green stars, then it might bite you in the butt later. But the main the main levels don't aren't really that um strict with that sort of thing. Excuse me. Not really used to these soccer bombs instead of soccer balls. Um, but yeah, this right here is a... I, I don't exactly know the official name of it, but you collect the eight green coins and you get a green star. Um, there's probably something up here. Uh, just a little bit of extra time. Okay, um, the, just the glistening of the water, it's probably not going to look as good on stream, because, I mean, I, I, I purposely have the, the bit rate of the stream down a little bit. And speaking of down, I'm just going to turn the game volume down just a little bit, just because I, I mean, it's hard for me to, to know how loud exactly the game audio is compared to my my mic and i i'd rather have the game audio be a little quieter than too loud um cuz just looking at the levels it felt like it was a bit too loud um it's one thing that you don't have to deal with if you're doing like pre-recorded video game stuff because you can just record the gameplay separately with the the audio and then your mic separately and you can you can fix all that stuff in post so it's and i guess that just goes with with anything that you do in post in general is you um you can get away with fixing a lot in in editing So here we have Pow Bowser, Bowser in his pimp mobile, and so the the gimmick is to hit the soccer bombs right back at him. And if if you're in part of the world that calls him uh, or calls that sport football, then uh, foot bombs. That, that that sounds a little weird. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Well, that that was great. There we go. I'm pretty sure um if the bombs are just hitting the car, they won't do as much damage per hit, but I th I think I was hitting Bowser directly with with the the balls, so it knocked him out quicker. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> that is the, hmm, that, that's the first world done already. I mean, granted, you know, it is the first world of a Mario game, so it's kind of expected that it's, goes by a little quicker. So. Thank you! Da, 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 da. Woo. Okay. Uh, not only got all the green stars, but also got all the stamps. So, I mean, aside from one other thing that you have to do for 100% that I'm not really going to get into at this point, if, if there are people who don't know. I mean, granted, I've been like, touching on little spoilery things here and there, but like 100% in this game is, it's not so, um, it's not as hard as it is just time consuming. Um, that's, that's all I'll say for the, the time being is that, yeah, it's, it is just time consuming. 
But uh, anyways, let us hop into World 2. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh. Uh, before we hop into that, that first level, um, is this just a stamp? It is. It's just a free stamp. Yes, yes it is. Um... Yeah, the, the the stamps uh in the original Wii U version, they were for your Miiverse posts. If you if you have any idea as to what Miiverse is, it was basically Nintendo's attempt to add a social media platform. Uh, you could only access it if you owned a 3DS or Wii U, and you could only make posts from those systems. Um, although there was an actual, like, web page that you could go to to, um, look at other people's posts and reply and all that, but, um, uh, okay, there's nothing down there. <laughs> Didn't want to risk it. Yeah, um, honestly, I, I... There are certain reasons as to why I legitimately kind of miss Miiverse. Mostly because of how, um, like, toxic uh, a lot of social media is these days. Miiverse, it was just all about talking about games, which, I mean, granted, if you follow the right people on other social media, you'll get that anyways, so... I mean, it's not like you can't get that on modern day social media, it's just you have to follow the people that you want to follow, and if there's stuff that you don't want to see, then you have to kind of parse through that. Oh shoot. Because I mean, there's... Not, not gonna um, go into this topic much, but just... There's only so much politics a person can take, and taking a break from it is very healthy, and you don't, you don't have to be attentive to the news all the time. Um, as long as you're knowledgeable enough, I think that's perfectly fine, but you don't have to be having the news on, like, 24-7. It's... yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back to cats. Um, I don't think there's anything up there, no. Uh, this is... Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, like, reasons like that are kind of why I miss Miiverse. It's just, it was a place to just interact with other people who had the same mutual interest of N Nintendo games, and, um, yeah, it was just a, for the most part, a fun, wholesome community, except for the, like, the, the posts that you might see on, like, those compilation videos on YouTube, where it's, like, posts of what seems to be, like, young kids being like, I love this game, but... I don't like that my my parents yell all the time or things like that. That like I'm pretty sure it got uh, um I'm pretty sure eventually people just did those sorts of posts just for the sake of the meme and not actually being serious. That's my guess at least, hopefully. <laughs> Woo. So the uh that little roll that I'm doing, it's when you're running with um, the stick and Y, you press uh, crouch and run, which is Y, uh, crouch and run, and then crouch and jump. So like, duh, duh. Um, suppose, you know, I could actually do this. So running, yeah, running, crouch, jump, like like that in order to to do the roll maneuver you can use amiibo during your adventure just hold left 
on the D-pad and an amiibo to your controller. Um, you won't be able to use amiibo when you're communicating with other switches. Yeah, so, I mean, amiibo functionality in this game isn't really that interesting, to be honest. Um, except maybe in Bowser's Fury. I don't actually know where my bag of amiibo <laughs> is. Um, that was one thing I meant to to prepare because I wanted to show the specifically the Bowser amiibo in Bowser's Fury because it actually does something a little special, but I mean it's not not exactly necessary. I can bring it up later. But yeah, Shadow Play Alley, you get these potted piranha plants, which can chomp up things. And yes, they can chop chomp excuse me, up other mm. Ugh, excuse me. I just had breakfast not too long ago, so it's kinda to be expected. Um, yeah, the pro potted piranha plants do have a sort of uh, friendly fire to them, so I guess that's a thing that you have to keep in mind. Can I? I can. Nice. Meow. Now, can you eat the big one? No, you cannot. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a good thing to know then, I guess. Uh, we take you, and in the original Wii U version, because the gamepad had a microphone, shoot, you could actually just yell into the microphone to to do certain things, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't need that P-switch, um, it, what that P-switch does is that it just changes the position of the light source to show you that there's a, a green star in the stairs. Uh, yeah, it's not actual Bowser. <laughs> I love the how it, it like tries to fake you out like that. Ooh. Even though it's like, why would Bowser just be chilling here? Let's wait for this to do this. And just like that, the the roll is really good for hitting the top of the flagpole. Um, because yes, hitting the top of the flagpole is indicative of getting 100%. You have to hit the top of the flagpole in every single stage. Like I said, it's this game isn't exactly hard to 100%, it's just time consuming. I mean, unless you have... You know, um, cat suit. If you're playing alone, you can press down to take snapshots. Yes, yes. I I already showed that off. Oh, you can do it on the world map too. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, like that. I see, I see. Okay. Boop, and just... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Couldn't quite figure out how to do it uh, before. Okay, yes. So this stage, this one is... Yes, you can play this course using touch controls. Press R or... SR if you're using a sideways Joy-Con to make the touch cursor appear. Use it to move the rainbow colored blocks. Playing in handheld mode, you can also just tap the screen. So. Whoop. Yep, just like what I was showing before. Uh, yeah. I, I do like how they still kept these um controls in, even though the the whole, like, selling point of the gamepad was that, oh, you can, like, use a touchscreen and all that, but, yeah, nope, you 
bugger. Could have sworn that there was like something down here. But apparently not. I don't really want to risk going down there. Because I do not know if there is anything down there. Oh. Well, I just kind of did that to myself, but... You can still wall jump. And just like that. Um, okay. Yeah, I... W one thing that I am probably going to test out not on stream, but probably just at some point in the next few days is... Um, I want to know how, how well um, online works with this game. I, I know of at least one person that is also, um, getting this game today. So, ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> well, first death. Um, I know of one person, at least, um, one friend that's getting this game, so I'll probably be talking with them later today, or I mean, if he pops into to chat, then I may we may hop into multiplayer, but um <laughs> of course, um of all times, um yesterday my Switch's Ethernet adapter just was bugging out real bad. And I have no idea why. Um I've been meaning to test out like is it just like my main switch dock um like i was gonna test if this the issue occurs with my genki covert dock um or or not see if is it an issue with the the ethernet adapter itself or just with my main switch dock because i mean my main switch dock in certain ways has actually been acting a slight bit wonky um like if i'm going to uh ah oh shoot if i'm going to like take off my joy con with the switch still docked if i um if it like twists a certain way, um, oh shoot, <laughs> too busy talking, <laughs> um, like, if, if it, um, tilts a certain way, then it'll, like, undock, then redock, even though it actually hasn't gone, like, up and out of the dock, so, yeah, <laughs> um, that I, I I just don't really like how cheap feeling the official dock is. It it just feels like it could have been made with better materials. Cause yeah, it just also feels like it's made out of cheap plastic. Um Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there was only just a green star up here, but We'll still go through here anyways in order to get an extra life. Yeah, um, I mean, I, um, I'm using my main switch dock for, um, for stream just because, you know, it's the, uh, the official dock, so I'm probably going to get the best, um, image quality compared to the the Genki dock. Um although I mean I'll 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 test it out. Um how is that coin just floating in midair? I don't know. So I'm trying to think where the stamp would be. I mean, I'm not gonna waste time really looking for it because I'm gonna be going back and playing through all these levels anyways. 
So if I miss stuff, I'm just not gonna really care. Unless if I actually need stars to unlock levels. So. Remember, you can also use... Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. Um, I mean, I don't really... Ooh! I was about to say I don't really need to, to do this, but now I can have double cats again. Um, I'm not gonna risk touching any... Ooh. Any of those other power-ups, lest they replace the, the cat that I have in reserve. And yes, I will refer to the Super Bell as just a cat. Um... Is this... this is just the same. Okay. Map, you can choose world, see the the lists of the stages, um, and then your stamp collection, so. I was curious, what does this look like? Wait, oh yeah, X, what about voice chat? Okay, so you still can use the... <laughs> the Switch Online app for, for voice chat. It's funny that, um, yeah, you can use the app for, for voice chat, but in a lot of the commercials that show off the multiplayer, it almost looks like they're, they're just doing voice chat over a standard phone call, which is amusing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show off the mystery house. So mystery houses are little mystery box gauntlets. Uh, welcome to the mystery house. There's one green star in each room, so, so do your best to get them all. Good luck. So, yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Um, if, if you run out of time in one room... Then you will have to start all the way back in the beginning, which is, you know, something to keep in mind. Uh, because these mystery houses will get harder and harder. Oh, there's another cat. Uh, okay. But, you know, with this being the first one, it's not too difficult. Watch me say that and run out of run out of time here, but it doesn't have didn't happen. Yeah. This is what happens um when I try talking in the in the morning is that uh I talk a little lower and I'm a little little bit more sinusy in the morning even though I don't really have any sort of like congestion issues or whatever. It's just how my voice is in the morning. Um, anything over here? Probably just a coin, I guess. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah I'll hop into really rolling hills. Also, what happens in the morning is that I'm <laughs> just a little bit more absent-minded. And... That's why, I mean, I honestly prefer to stream in the afternoon, but because I've been doing these, um, launch day streams of some of, um, like, the Switch games that have been coming out that I've been more interested in, that, like, I want to do, like, streams of them of, like, launch day, but then that means that I... I have to, you know, have my first time playing the game be on stream. So, it's just a little thing that I have to coordinate. It's a good thing that even though, <clears throat> even though, even though I didn't set an alarm for today, and even though I, this is a morning stream, I woke up with more than enough time to get ready. Uh have breakfast, take a shower, all that, just to f feel like I'm ready. 
Is there anything down there? Does not look like it. Ooh, one up. Yeah, uh, that's why I generally just prefer to stream in the afternoon because I feel like I can provide better commentary. Um, but with these launch day streams, I, I kind of like, you know, playing the game right away, you know, as you do on launch day. So it's just kind of, um, just kind of ends up to where I'm having to stream in the morning, <laughs> which I mean, isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just means that my brain isn't entirely awake. Um, so I can't give as insightful commentary, but anyways, um, uh, I, I guess one thing that if you're not familiar with the original Wii U version of this game is that all of the, the HUD elements, like the timer, the live, and coin counter, and all that, uh, compared to the Wii U version, they're all actually shrunk down, which I thought was interesting, but... If, if you play this game in handheld mode, or if you don't have the game, but if you just load up YouTube and uh, play the, the video or just the game with the Switch undocked, then you'll kind of realize why, because if, if the HUD elements were to the same scale that they were in the original Wii U version, um, they, they would take up a significant amount of screen real estate for that small of a screen. So, um, that's pr uh, probably a reason why it's like that. Um, but also just, it, it feels a little better to have things more out of the way because yeah, you're not having to, it's not like entirely crucial inf information. So it, it it can get away with being shrunk down a bit. Come on. Well. Um. I'm pretty sure you can drop down here. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. I. For a second I was like, oh shoot, did I actually just kill myself? But nope, I did not. I did not. Ba da ba ba. Uh, anything over here? Oh, just a mushroom. But I mean, that's better than nothing. <laughs> uh, okay, get this lined up. Nah, not quite. But like I said, if I miss anything like that, it's not a big deal because I'm gonna have to go back and... <sighs> and play through the stages again. For the sake of completion. <laughs> um, just looking at the time here. I think I'm just going to. Okay, yeah. Yada yada yada. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick bathroom break, and I'll be right back. <laughs>
Alrighty. I am back. And... Uh, just in case, because it... Um, well, just in case I have a couple cough drops on standby. Because my, my voice is not... Uh, used to just talking like this on on the regular um and I mean probably isn't that's really the best thing to do this but I'm just gonna pop one in and um uh, get that <laughs> get that going because I do not want to wreck my my throat but it's means that the little like that if I accidentally do it too loudly that's gonna come through the microphone <laughs> so it's just something that I have to to deal with right now and I don't want to don't want to accidentally hurt myself from <laughs> from um talking oh. <laughs> okay it's also why you know you also shouldn't chew gum or anything on on stream, especially if, you know, you're like me and you have your microphone literally right next to your mouth. <laughs> um, in, in like previous streams, I would have my mic farther away, but I found that when I would do that, I would have to like boost the, the gain and the sensitivity on my, my interface. And it was probably a contributing factor factor as to why sometimes you could hear like a little crackle whenever I would talk. Probably that, and also I found in my audio settings in OBS that um <laughs> the uh, um audio frequency that I was using to stream out was um it was only like 44.1 kilohertz or something i forget the exact unit of measurement that it is but um changing the stuff with my microphone plus um f figuring that out um and boosting it to 48 honestly helped to um, improve the audio quality of my, of my stream because I was looking at the VOD for last week's stream and honestly that is the best sounding that my mic has been <clears throat> on on a live stream um, which I <laughs> I was uh, happy to, to find that out so I I am a little bit of a stickler when it, it comes to audio quality um with um stream video quality can you can get away with not necessarily streaming at like the best um resolution and whatnot um I just value um like smoothness of the the gameplay so if a game is at if the the game runs at 60 fps then i will stream at 60 fps although for next week when i start pikmin um i'm i will only be streaming at 30 because the game runs at 30 um it's not like you're really gonna notice too much um, I I think I see what I need to do, and I'm already perfectly 
per quote unquote perfectly lined up for it. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to have a clone. Just like here. Yep. And stamp. Good, good. Um, I was about to say I'm not going to go for this, but one of my clones accidentally touched it. Um, come on. There we go. Um, don't want to accidentally go through the pipe and miss. Well, I killed the clone. Well, <laughs> hopefully I don't need it, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I have just enough. I have the perfect amount. That is another level in terms of collectibles, um, completely finished. And at this point we have hit one hour for 3D World, so half an hour more and then we'll be switching over to Bowser's Fury. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do just an hour of each, but an hour and a half kind of felt like a good amount for both. So, uh, I, I was contemplating just streaming Bowser's Fury, because honestly, from what people have been saying, I could have actually, um completely beaten, um, well not fully, fully completed Bowser's Fury, but, um, at least beaten the final boss of it, but, eh, I, I also just wanted to have my first ever, uh, time playing 3D World also captured. Because that's also kind of why I've been doing these launch day streams, is so then I can um, have a um, footage, that's the word, of me playing games like these for the first time. Because, yeah, I I never got to play 3D World back in the day, aside from like a... Why is that just red over there? Um, down that pit. Yeah, I just never got to play 3D World um, with the stream that I did for Origami King, like, aside from uh, Sticker Star <laughs> and the first couple um, chapters, that's, <laughs> that's the word, of Super Paper Mario. Like, that's my, that's the extent of my experience with the Paper Mario series, although granted now I've been chipping away at Bug Fables, so. Honestly, that game is more of a Paper Mario game than Origami King is. Ah oh, shoot, ah oh, shoot, okay, good. Wanna keep your, your blast box type thing for, for that wall. And it's Boom Boom. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, not exactly the most interesting, um, like, boss. Because at this point, this is Boom Boom's, like, third appearance, I'm pretty sure, in a mainline Mario game. First appearance was Mario 3. Second one was Mario 3D Land on 3DS. And then this... Wait, no, 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 no. No, New Soup U. Uh, he was in as well. If you want to count both New Soup U and New Soup uh, Luigi U as, like, the same game. Which, I mean... Technically? Well, I mean... New Super Luigi U was just $20 DLC for uh, New Soup U. Um, New Super Mario Bros. U is what I'm referring to. 
because back in the day, New Super, Mar New Super Luigi U was, like, you had to pay, yeah, $20 for, for it. Um, it, it was not out at the time the game's release. Like, they were, um, they were probably still working on Luigi U. Um, when the main game came out on Wii U back in the day. So. Anyways, we're now in World 3. And it's kind of a an ice type thing. Now granted, even though these worlds have their own sort of theming to them, it doesn't necessarily mean that the stages themselves always follow that theme, if you've been kind of noticing. Um, which is one thing that I honestly kind of really like, is that it's not always the same sort of... Oh, not always the same sort of um thing each and every time. Was there something over here? Oh, there is. It's weird that they would just put the propeller block there with what feels like no real purpose. Um, oh, we just have to do. Th oh, nope. You gotta hold jump and do that. That'll give more than enough of a little uh, passageway to get through. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Didn't realize it was a multi-block. I'm trying to not <laughs> crunch this, um, um, cough drop, because I don't want that to come through the mic. But it's hard to not. Yeah, there's like a little chunk there. Uh, but yeah, little sort of ice skate that I immediately lose. I did not mean to do that. Welp. Um. Hmm. I guess, like, yeah, there we go. I mean, I do also have the Chinooki suit under the propeller block, so. Um. Excuse me. Come on. Come over here. <laughs> oh. Well. I guess I'll just do this. Um. It's probably just gonna give me a... Oh! No, it did give me another leaf. Nice. Nice. Um. Aside from the, the cat suit, the tanuki suit is probably the second best power-up in the game, so, um, yeah, Oop. come over here, you little bugger, get over here, oh, you can't, you can't get ahead of him, otherwise he'll, um, figure out what you're doing and, and juke ya. Um, I'm just gonna mute my mic for, like, a few seconds while I crunch this cough drop. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think it's around here. <laughs> that was a little risky. Um, okay, nice. I am going through these stages a little slower. Crunch, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd have preferred to have not had a cough drop on stream, but I mean, just to help save my throat a little bit. Um, 
I just sort of had to. So. <laughs> Only lasted for like one or two stages, so. Was not that bad. I'll press minus. Yada yada. Yep. I already knew that. Just from playing around with the menus. Uh, yeah, looks like we need 30 to get in here, and we, we have m way more than enough. <laughs> Let's -a go! So I think this is. Oh, sh <laughs> I immediately lose that Tanuki suit. At least to get a get a cat suit. Um. Yeah, and with the cat suit, you can also climb fences. There we go. That's those coins. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Oh, there is something up there. Oh, nice! Uh, another cat suit. I'll, I'll replace my Tanuki suit with that. I'm more than okay with this. Because now I'm back to having double cats. Except I'm about to lose this one if I'm not careful. Okay. Ooh. Um, The coin trail makes it seem like it wants you to just dive, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Although, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there's a star right here. Uh. Oh, dude, but did you do? I did not know if you ground pounded on those that it would just collapse. <laughs> well, okay then. Yeah. Did not realize that it would do that, but well. <laughs> um. For some reason, it still keeps the the stars that you collected, which is actually kind of nice. I don't know if I backed out of the level or not, if it would still keep those stages, <laughs> or those uh, stars, but, uh, yeah. Oop. Okay. Yeah, don't need to go for that, that star again, because I already got it. Uh... Yeah, and not gonna dive through here because it's not needed. Now we have to wait for the camera to auto scroll um back to, to over here. Oh wait <laughs> I already collected it technically, so yeah, I didn't need to, to risk it, but eh, whatever. Hit the checkpoint now, so So, yeah, it's dumb that the, I mean, both dumb, but also it makes sense that the cloud platforms collapse if you ground pound on them. But at least then you kind of learn that, oh, hey, yeah, be careful with these. Uh, I'll just go through the clear pipe. And looks like, yeah, it's for this green star. Aw, oh, shoot. Oh, I almost got... Um, I I almost got denied by the um uh, chain link uh, fences. Oh shoot! Well, I did not mean to dive, but I did. But at least, yeah, I've already collected the that third green star, so I don't have to go for it again. Which is actually kind of nice. Um. But yeah, if you're a cat, and you jump, and in mid-air you hit the run button, you'll dive. So, that's something for me to keep in mind. Um, wait for this. Yeah, just getting used to how this controls, because I'm pretty sure that the um, 3D World game style in Mario Maker 2 controls differently to how <laughs> to how 
um it actually controls in this version or this version of the game yeah so yeah i'm just gonna not press the run button <clears throat> excuse me a run button in that section if i absolutely do not need to i'm just gonna try to not <laughs> press it at all uh or I can just, you know, keep my, my thumb held down on the run button. Um, if you don't tilt the stick at all, actually, um, in mid-air, then you're not gonna to dive. So. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, because I got, ev got everything. So, don't need to worry about anything else. Um, it's probably just coins up here. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too special. Now we can just <laughs> finish off the level. It's still a little unsettling that they meow at the end of each stage. <laughs> um, just trying to gauge what I want to do. I mean, this is just going to be a, a freebie stamp. So, just collect Collect that and carry on. Yeah, you can you know tilt the camera. It's it's not like a actual 3D Mario game where um you can tilt it all the way around and stuff. It's just only on like increments. Shifty Boo Mansion. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little unsettling. Uh, don't touch me. Do not touch me. Do do not touch me. Oh, but, uh, don't touch me. <laughs> that that charge up animation for when they. When a cat does a backflip, um, it kind of does like a little butt wiggle that a cat that a cat would do before it would like pounce on something. It's a little weird. Uh, is there anything down here, or is this just coins? Yeah, it's just coins. Nothing too. Nothing too special. Um, anything here? Ooh. Uh. Nice. Well, there's the stamp. Have... No idea really where <laughs> the green star... Uh, the green stars are. I do hear the, the twinkling of one. That is a, a nice thing about... You know, playing with the audio is that you can hear where the green stars and stuff are. Oh shoot, up. Uh. Here. There we go. Probably just gonna be somewhere below here. Yep. Just right here. Nice, okay. That was only the second star, though, but, eh. I'm not gonna really worry about that for the time being, because I... I mean, I've been kind of coy with, like, the 100% completion, but essentially one uh, thing that you have to do in order to 100% the game is that you have to play through every single stage with every single character. <laughs> So, 
yeah, it's, it is a little, little time consuming. Um, if you don't, you know, have multiple controllers to where if, like, when you get to the end of the stage, you just, um, like, hook up three other, oh! <laughs> hook up three other controllers, and then just have, like, all of them, um, hit the top of the flagpole, um, right at the end. Like, that is a way that you can cheese that. If, if you really want to, like, there's, there's nothing really wrong about that, because, like, you're just saving time. Um, although, kind of, I mean, some people may be like, oh, it takes away from the fact that, um, like, each, yeah, <laughs> each character controls differently, so, like, you didn't actually prove that you can do each stage with each character, but it's, people who say, would uh, say something like that are just elitists, <laughs> being perfectly honest. Can I go back through and, okay, there's nothing up there. Yeah, people who like are gatekeepy like that, I just, yeah. Like at one point I was kind of one of those people and at this point it's just like, yeah, no, that's not a mature mindset to be in. <laughs> because in the end, like, you're just, you know, saving time, and you don't know the importance of saving time until you become, like, more of an adult. So, like, people who are like, oh, um, like... Like I said, gate gatekeepy like that. I mean, they're probably, yeah, I, yeah, uh, fake flagpole. By the way, um, yeah, they just need to learn. <laughs> Anyways, about uh, ten more minutes, and then we'll switch over to Bowser's Fury, which I always have to put extra emphasis on Fury, um, so then it doesn't sound like Bowser's furry. Like, um, just, if you say Fury a certain way, it's like, it almost sounds like furry. So. Uh, another, another Captain Po- Captain Toad, Captain Toad stage. Captain Toad makes a splash. Still remember last summer when Captain Toad was on sale and a good part of um here can I you can't zoom in at all, which I don't necessarily like, but it's whatever. Oh shoot. Well <laughs> Yeah, just a good part of my summer last year was spent playing um Treasure Tracker, and it 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 was just such a good um uh, time to play through that game, especially going through and doing all the completion stuff. Um, especially uh with some of the last sort of stages in that game because it just seems to be a a uh, trope with a lot of Nintendo games these days is like the main game is pretty easy, but you do all the completion and such, and you get access to like a super hard level, but um, yeah, super hard level that is just tests your not only your skills but also. Your ability to not swear every three seconds uh, with how difficult the, the levels are. Not really going to spoil what the ultra hard like stage in Captain Toad is, but yeah, it's 
it is it is difficult <laughs> um oh oh gotcha 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 trying to figure out a puzzle sort of stage well while talking is not the easiest thing um wait <laughs> how do I do this uh shoot oh wait oh dirt there's the pipe right there okay um yeah probably just drop down that's what it looks like wait no I was I already had access to the pipe Ugh. in uh actual captain toad well in cap in treasure tracker you do not have time limits on the stages um although each stage has like a a par time for um if you uh yeah I'll hit this first if you um can complete the stage within a certain length of time then like that is a factor for 100% completion so yeah but it's it's not like a strict time limit like it is here <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh i i can well when i'm warmed up i can do a pretty good toad impression that wasn't exactly the greatest showcase of my my toad voice and i don't want to overstrain my 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 vocal cords uh uh, probably have time for one more stage, and then we'll switch over to Bowser's Fury. Uh, pretty Plaza Panic. And we only have 100 seconds. Okay. So, yeah, these sorts of rush-type stages. Um, yeah, you only have a certain length of time, so you gotta be quick. Uh, oh, there's a Princess Peach switch over there that you, is almost assuredly uh, a green star. Well, it's got to be some sort of collectible shoot. <laughs> so. Um, that was only the second green star? Huh. Huh. This is probably the third one. I imagine that Princess Peach switch is just the stamp. Because this is going to... Yeah, this is going to be the third green star. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm just now looking over at... Is this just infinite money? <laughs> I think it is. Just seeing how greedy you are. With the the time limit. Mm, come on. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's finish this. Oh. That that's actually kind of kind of clever that it's um clever just interesting that it's a uh, it is literally infinite. Nice, yeah. And only sixty three green stars, but um when it comes up, yeah, nice amount of lives. Um. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead now and switch over to Bowser's Fury and see what, what that's all about. So, yeah, just like how clean this, this title screen is. <laughs> well...
Um, I'll boost the game volume just for this intro cutscene. Once it you know, loads up. Yeah. I guess I'll, um, I can't do that, never mind. Well, that's interesting, the, the music is the mystery box music. Well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> sure. So, uh, I guess just some interesting technical information is that the main game of 3D World runs at 1080p 60, but this only runs at 720p 60 in docked. Um... Camera... Hi... Uh, very high, please, yes. And this is also another option. Uh, none. There we go. Yeah, that feels a little better for, for my liking. But yeah, Bowser's Fury only runs at 720p60 when docked, which is oh, perfectly serviceable, I think. Um. Oh. <laughs> but, um... And this is going to be something I'm going to be um, getting a feel for after stream is um, that when you're playing Bowser's... Ooh, they still left that a little loud. Um, Bowser's Fury, when you're playing Undocked, runs at 720p 30 frames per second, which is a little interesting. Um... And I'm gonna see how, um, it, how weird, if at all, that feels. So, yeah. Ba -ba -ba, cat shine. So yeah, this mode, um, unlike the main game of 3D World, that which is more of a linear type game, this is actually a like a sandbox 3D Mario game akin to like Mario 64 um Odyssey that type of thing Oh I I love that little like 8-bit Fury Bowser that's cool um I was going to say it people have been saying that this mode is kind of like it feels like they're testing the waters for like, a Breath of the Wild style of 3D Mario game where everything is more, um, interconnected and without any sort of, like, loading screens or anything. So, we'll... We'll see. There's Bowser Jr. And he is... Yeah, basically saying that his his dad has gone from, you know, normal to wants to kill everything. Mario, dad is out of control. I don't know what happened. Ba uh, Mario is apprehensive about helping Bowser Jr. I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad. Can't change dad back by myself. I never ask you for help, never ever, but I'll do anything to save Papa, so help me, Mario. And he'll do it because he's such a great guy. <laughs> You've teamed up with Bowser Jr., but how much should he help you? Um, I mean, no, we'll have him help a little bit. Ask Bowser Jr. to help a little. To change the settings, select options. One more thing to mention, if you share two Joy-Con controllers, or if you just have two Pro controllers, <laughs> um, a second person can play as Bowser Jr. Select two team mode. Um, actually, let me see. 
it should let you yeah you can you can use two pro controllers for multiplayer that is not not a big deal just a coin there yep but yeah this is technically the second um 3D Mario game that has a run button, the first one being um, Super Mario 64 DS, and I'm talking about like a sandbox Mario game, not like 3D Land or 3D World. Scamper Shores make the lighthouse shine. So from what I've heard, um, this whole game... Like, each section is kind of divided up into, you know, little areas. And and all the... Yeah, divided up into areas. Each area has a number of cat shines for you to collect. So... Yeah, it is like... Mario 64. And if you noticed, when I picked up that mushroom, it went to the lower left. This is like an item selector that you can store up to five of each different type of item. So, yeah, and this is a cat shard, or cat shine shard, I think is the, the actual official name for it. If you collect all five, you get a shine. And kitties! Aw. You, you, you can pick them up and you can throw them off the cliff. <laughs> Unless you accidentally just yeet yourself off the cliff. Uh, ooh. So yeah, these blocks right here. Um, ooh, another another cat bell. Um, these blocks you can only break when Fury Bowser is in play. Um. He becomes in play whenever, um, just after, like, a couple minutes and, like, actual real-time minutes of, of playing, he'll just show up. Oh, thank you for getting those, uh, Bowser Jr. Uh, ooh, thank you for that. Ooh, another, another shard. And is he gonna... Do that. Do that. Yeah, you can find panels like that, and Bowser Jr. can uh, paint them in for you to get stuff. Oh! I did not mean to bounce on his head, but I did. That is the second shard. Oh, and the third one right here. Nice. Um... Looks like, okay, yeah. Just have to dash up here. <laughs> Alrighty. And yeah, all the enemies are cats in this in this mode. Just everything, everything is cat. Um... Can I get up there? I mean, I feel like I should be able to. We'll worry about it later, though. Um... Okay. Is there any shards up here? Nope. Why do I feel a vibration down here? I don't know. Oh, but it is starting to rain. Um... Oh shoot! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I just kind of yeeted myself all the way back down here. And... Kitties! Yes. This game is just... full of cats. <laughs> And here is Fury Bowser. Like I said, he appears every couple minutes. And he just tries to ruin your day. <laughs> um, I say that even though he made some convenient platforms. Oh yeah, and these cats, now they're evil. <laughs> now they are evil. So, yeah, I'm gonna run back over here. Wait for him to bust these open. If, if you can, come on. I I know you know where I am. Is if 
if this is what um what you're supposed to do maybe i don't know uh come on i know you see me over here there we go now now if you can you know blast some fire breath over here There we go. I'm, I'm okay with sacrificing my cat for it, because I get a cat shine, and getting a cat shine will, um, make Fury Bowser go back into rest for a few minutes. So. Yeah. And he just goes back into the sludge. Nice. Saving, um, suppose this is kind of what this is for. Let's, let's pull out an extra cat. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, now, oh, excuse me. I'll just slide back down. Um, okay, yeah, those are probably... Yeah, those are probably just for the, the next area, it looks like. Although, I do see area over here. Uh, oh. Yep, another shard, please, thank you. It's the fourth one. Where's the fifth one? Uh, I am not sure. Well, I mean, it's probably on the um, platforms over up here. I feel like maybe I should... Um... Ah, shoot. Okay. I feel like this game, or this mode in particular, would probably benefit from me playing with my um, controller that I... That has like the programmable like buttons on the handles because then I can have like run and jump on the handles and still be able to control the camera. No problem. Oh, that's they're right here. Wait for it. There we go. And that is another shine. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, but Oh, okay. Was there... I thought I saw something up there during the cutscene. Maybe not. Uh... Yeah. Feels like you're supposed to get up over to that... This other... Area. Uh... But there is that lip... There. That I don't know how I would go about navigating. I'll just worry about that later. And let's just get the main shine. Boop. Because I'm pretty sure collecting the main shine will unlock the main area? Maybe? Or the next area, I mean? I'm not sure. But there is a clear pipe up here. Lighthouse wants to bring something to light. That sploot, splotchy goop will vanish under the light of a cat shine. But some of those cat shines are a bit shy. Can't find one. Try looking on another island. Islands with lighthouses are usually hiding something. Get up to a high spot and look for one nearby. Nice. I do see one, or well, not one, but just something up here. Fire flower. And so whatever power-up that you did have just gets brought back into here. But I will become a cat again. Just trying to figure out how to get over there. Because I, f I feel like that there's something over there. So I'm I'm going to just run back down here and, and check again. Because at this point I, I have four of the five cat shines 
So I feel like I should be able to complete the whole area, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm... <laughs> Probably just shouldn't waste too much time on that. I'll just keep going. <laughs> Um, over here, looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Whoa, it's a Gigabell. I heard a cool saying about these. I think it was, when the beast rises, the Gigabell will ring or something. Maybe we've got to get this Spoochy Goop off first. Some more cat shines might do the trick. So, yep, we need one more shine. <laughs> Hopefully I can collect one more before... Oh, Fury Bowser wakes up again, which, now that I say that, he's probably going to start waking up. Maybe. Uh, anything over here? Nope. Is that... Oh, that's a camera reset button. Nice. Ooh. Ah. Come on. Oh, don't touch me. Okay. Oh, I think he's... Uh, well, I mean, whether or not he wakes up again doesn't really matter. It's either way, probably be showing off what it looks like when you get the the the, the Giga Bell. Anyways, um, because that's where like basically all of the the trailers would stop at is that they just wouldn't show what happens after you collect the Gigabell. Um, except for one commercial that I found that showed like a couple seconds at least and when I realized it's like no nope nope rather not see this even though now I kind of have a sense of what what it is <laughs> and it was an official commercial as well so I, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Okay. Oh, another, another one. Nice getting the item stash nicely stocked up. Oh. Well. Here he comes. Um. There we go. Can just get that with the with that. Uh I did see some fury blocks over around here, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to um hope that he comes over here. Oh. Do that, but then I immediately that immediately happens. So for some reason he just cannot bring himself to kill his son with the the fire breath. Come here. Come on. I know you want to. Is he is he just not gonna come over here? Here we go. Uh, if I just do this, is he gonna do it? I I heard something break. Ooh, yes, it's a cat shine. I had a feeling it was just gonna be a cat shine. <laughs> so that is gonna yeah make him uh, go back into rest. But it's probably also gonna awaken the Giga Bell, so I'm gonna have to wait until he wakes up again to use the Giga Bell. Likely, message is ringing out from the Giga Bell. Yes. Okay. So the next time he wakes up, then we'll go and collect the Giga Bell and see what that's all about, <laughs> because I honestly have no idea what happens. Um. Or. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't say that because I saw that little bit of the trailer, but, um, 
Oh, well, it was a commercial, should say. But. Yeah. Map. Can you. Oh, you can! Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, the. Ooh! Another. Another cat shine. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I have cat shine shards. So, yeah, I can just skip those, even though I feel like I probably shouldn't, just in case, like, it, they say something special, which I don't know if they will. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another uh, cat shine over there. Oop. Anything up here? Nope. Just seeing what all there is <clears throat> all around here. Uh, um, collecting coins can be worth your while. You'll get a power up every time you collect a hundred. Interesting. Okay. So coins are not entirely worthless. Um, because yeah, even though there's a coin counter, there's also no live. Uh, life counter. So. Yeah. Um. Switch back over to this, because it looks like I'll need it for this. Right over here. Yep, and just climb up. And that's another one. Climb to the shine. Ooh. Another thing for Bowser Jr. to paint. While you do that, take care of these. Ooh, it's a it's a golden pipe. Oh, just loads of money. Yes. Ha ha ha. Nice. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Yeah, nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, I guess G Gigabell's right there, so um, when Bowser wakes up again, you can just run over to it. Or Flap Trap. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, these platforms. They were originally in Galaxy 2. Whenever you'd shake the Wii Remote, they would flip. But then... They were brought to Mario 3D Land on 3DS, which they didn't want to have you, like, shake the system in order to... I'll use the Tanuki suit. In order to flip them so it's just whenever you jump. Which, I mean, is probably a fair way of doing that. Um, so yeah, if you can kind of lure them onto the platform, then drop them. Haha. <laughs> Nice. Come over here. And bye-bye. <laughs> oh. And that is another shine. Up into the cat tower. And nice, we're almost up to, to 10. Seems to be another shard. Oh, it looks like that there's some stuff down here. Oh, including another shard. Oh, here comes Fury Bowser. Wait for him. Well, yeah, we'll we'll wait for him to wake up. Da, 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 da. And there we go. Awaken the Giga Bell. <laughs> so yeah, if if you didn't know the name, this whole area, 
uh, that Bowser's Fury takes place in, it's called Lake Lapcat, and it is, it is such a great name. So what exactly is this going to entail? Get it entailed because cats. Anyways, um, what is this? So yeah, this is what I saw. Is that it's it is literally just a giant kaiju <laughs> battle. Oh shoot! Oh, he tried to knock you into the goop, but then, oh sh! <gasps> you lose your cat. Oh. Well, at least you're still you know Mega Mario, or Giga Mario rather. If I ground pound, does that do anything? No, it doesn't. You are no match for me because I am now big as well. Up and stomp right on him. Oh, I I think I heard the Giga Bell again, so it probably regenerates back if you lose it. That's neat. So you probably do that in order to de-goop the next area. Yeah, I love that little 8-bit Fury Bowser. Oh, it's Plessy. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. He sank back into the lake, but trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my papa. We need we the we need to make him really see the light. The way to do that is to find more cat shines. Yeah. So yep, now more of the map is accessible. <gasps> Excuse me. Yep. More? Uh, okay, yeah, map. Uh, did have this... <clears throat> Whoa! Didn't realize it was that, uh, that deep down there. Yeah, there is, seems to be more over here. Cool. Um, um, do this. Seems to really not be much more than... Coins, although, ooh. Come on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, didn't have the, the camera centered. Okay. Any more? Nope. That was all of them. So that probably means that as you progress, there's going to be, like, things that change in the environment, so... Now there's probably actually something over in that first area for me to get up to that platform, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, oh, just a, another fire flower. But I'm going to switch back to cat. <laughs> because that's what this whole game is about, is cat. Oh, I didn't have him break down these fury blocks. Well... Oh, yeah, if you just sit here and let them, yeah, they'll, they'll cuddle with you. It's great. <laughs> then you can, <laughs> oh, they just, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they disintegrate and they go back. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's good. Oh. Okay, so then where's the last shard? Because at this point I should probably just look for it. <laughs> Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's gotta be somewhere over here. Don't think it's there, because that's going to the next area. <sighs> um, 
I mean, here's a block, but it's not gonna have it. Oh yeah, a star when when I most need it. <laughs> I mean, I oh, it's just back there. Uh, yeah. Yep. I basically already knew that, and I've already talked about it. <laughs> that that moment when you you know more than what the game's telling you. Uh, just seems to be another fire flower, but I already have the max number of fire flowers. Da -ba -ba. That is just one more. Oh, just now realizing I'm wearing one of my socks inside out. <laughs> well, I'm not going to fix that right now. It's not a big deal. There's so many fire flowers around here. Uh, and eh, I'll worry about collecting, going back and collecting stuff like that later. Um, gotcha. Okay. And just run through all of them. <laughs> so I didn't see if was there another Gigabell over here or or what? I do not know. Uh, is this what? Oh, it's a thing. I guess you have to defeat all the enemies and, um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, oh, there is one up there. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, hmm. Seems to be some sort of thing over here. Let's, let us go and see. Um, what to do? Oh, just a cannon right up here. Ah, nice. But I do see something over there that looks like it is meant... Well, I guess... It, Oh, well, I mean, Plessy is here, so I guess it is meant to be used with Plessy. So. Uh. Oh, I see. No, put, put. Here, let's. Let us. Have him not help. Well, let's move Plessy out of the way, because maybe it wasn't Bowser Jr. that was, um, hindering. Uh, oh. Ooh. What do I want? Oh, there's something back there. Nice got exactly what I wanted. Now watch me lose it. <laughs> what is in here? Ooh, it's a special cat bell. Um, I'm gonna put it in reserve, though. I know exactly what, what it is. Essentially, well, I guess, yeah, maybe I should show it off. So, exact same as the regular cat bell, except when you ground pound, you get money. And that's it. <laughs> but also, um, also when you're ground pounded like that, you'll be invincible. So, yeah, nice little thing. 
play as Tanuki Mar Mario for the time being, so then I can have well, just something a little different, I guess. So, slip, skate, slope. <clears throat> uh. Um, so yeah, looks like it's just the skate, probably, yeah, just knock into to enemies to do that. Oh, well, I just lost it. Good thing it regenerates. Oh, oh, nice. Another, another cat bell. Is there anything back here? Oh, just another skate. That is nice. Uh, especially when I immediately lose that one again. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I dash again. Um. Right at the, the wall. Um, could probably switch Bowser Jr. to help a little bit. What are just... Gotcha, okay. Um, yeah, it's interesting that it kind of uses the same sort of file system as Mario Odyssey. Um, in the sense that, um, you don't choose a save file every time you load up the game. Um. Uh, which, yeah. How do I get back up there? Uh. Well, first we'll probably just do this. Well, that was the fifth one, but... <laughs> Wanna go back to... Um, get that last shard that I missed. Looks like that there is a ledge around here. I can just climb. Oh yeah, and there's platforms up here as well. Okay. Even though... Well, ooh, is there anything back here? Oh, some coins. I will collect them, because there's actually some sort of incentive for collecting coins. And another special bell! Yeah. Not gonna wear it, though. Ah, uh, just for the time being. Okay. Let's go back up. Oh, well, here's Fury Bowser again. Um... Uh, I guess just for the time being, I'm gonna kind of ignore him. <laughs> As best as, as best as I can. Is it over there? It is, okay. Whee! Yeah. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I can ignore him because I'm about to get a shine, and it's gonna make him go back to sleep anyways. <laughs> and he's just right there. Oh, he has a larger health bar this time. Nice. Well. <laughs> yeah. We'll go back and collect that sort of main shine. Zin. Whee! And... Bada boop! The, yeah, there's another Giga Bell there. I'm trying to think how I want to go about with like collecting, with doing the, well, going back for collectibles. Um, probably just wait until it feels like I'm about to hit the final boss and then go back. Oh, about snapshot mode, yes. Uh, be some sort of power up, just a mushroom. That is fine. See something relating to Plessy over there, but looks like that there's something over here. <gasps> hmm. Ooh. 
What does... Oh, it's... Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, let's touch this. Nice. Just... Uh, there's probably, like... Maybe a cat shine for this? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, yep. Looks look like there's a panel right here. Yep. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Dash and smash in the clouds. Collected 15 shines. Alright, so when Fury Bowser wakes up again, we can go deal with him with the, the bell. Uh, anything around here? Nope. I did see over here a Plessy ring. Some sort of challenge. Oh, is there going to be like a cat shine at the end? That's probably what it is. Yep. Yes. 20 seconds. And they're actual seconds, not like Mario Smeckins. Eight. Oh, shoot. Okay. We got this. Oh, I see something gl glowing over by that. Oh, it's just a block. What? A wet? What? Oh, gotcha, you attack him. I'm a cat, I can climb up walls, I don't need to... Oh, pff. that was dumb. Dumb of me. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Shut up. Okay. Got him. Oh. Well, I guess that <laughs> that was the shine for... Um, or the last shine for this area, maybe? I mean, we'll see. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what it looks like. Oh, so, that's nice. Um, there is this over here, but I don't know if it's going to give me anything special that I don't... Oh, well, probably a Tanuki Tail. Nice. I have to do, like, little timing things like that for, for myself, so then I can, you know... Yeah. Yes. And, well, another... Another cat bell. Um. Yeah, we'll probably just run back over here. Maybe. Yeah. I think that is what we will do. Oh, what is... What is this? Oh, just another cat bell. Oh. Here he is. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where there were fury blocks. Oh, oh but then that makes you lose one of your things, so... That kind of sucks. Yeah, we'll just... Do... We'll do this. And... Well, before that, could you please break, break these blocks? Hello. Hello, yes, you see me right over here? Please break these. Ah, well... It's probably going to be another cat shine. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Ugh. 
That's... Ugh. I'm worried that there's just gonna be one that's not there. Nope. Although now we have a cat shine again, so he's gonna go back to sleep. Welp. Eh. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, anything else around here? Nope. Hmm. This is interesting. Whee! Oh, wait. Nice. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. Uh... Are there any other shines around here is the question. So don't think it can... Yeah, I can't do anything with this. Still is one, but... Yeah, probably it's... Or, what? Okay. <laughs> Just wasn't doing it for whatever reason. Here is another shard. Well, the first shard for this area. Uh, Koopa Troopas with cat ears is a little bit of an... What's the button? I... I don't know. It's not minus. I'm trying to go into... Photo mode. There we go. Uh... Here. No, shoot. Uh, is he... Yeah, Koopa Troopas with fur and cat ears. It's... It's an unsettling image. Uh, that's... <laughs> uh. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh, 8-Bit Luigi. It's nice that they added those in, even though it's no longer the year of Luigi, but yeah. Ooh. Oh, the, I think this is a boss fight, maybe. Yep. Bop him. Yeah. It's just kind of the same as it is in the 3D world, more or less. Yeah, I'm gonna go inv invisible. You can sort of kind of see them. You're not able to attach to the walls as a cat, but... Yeah. Nice. Clash with Cat Boom Boom. Yeah, just everything is cats. So. Get sort of that area. There's a giant rabbit. Um. There we go. But yeah, from what people have been saying, you can... Oh, shoot. You can actually get this whole side mode completed in about, like, six-ish hours. So, I mean, that's probably what I'll be doing for the rest of the day after <laughs> after stream is just enjoying the rest of the... this mode. Just on my own. Um, from what people have been saying, really the only new things that are... You know, new are just in Bowser's Fury. Yep. You hold. Okay. If, if the cursor is still on it, at least. So right now it's on the cats. Anything? Nope. But yeah, probably. Wait, 
Oh, not wait. Um, I'll probably just keep streaming until noon, which is in about half an hour. So, yeah. Just because I, I, I want to get a good bit of stream time in with both of these games, but don't want to run myself too thin and, and all that, but still be a pretty sizable stream for me at least. Oh wait, I see Fury Blocks over here. I'm sorry, I have to go over here and check these out. Come on. There we go. Oh, but it's a, it's a cat shine. It's gonna make him go away. If I had my Bowser amiibo nearby, which I'll have to, I'll have to probably grab it after stream when I'm playing on my own. Um, scanning the Bowser amiibo will just automatically summon Fury Bowser. So, hey. uh, we have Plassey over here. Nope, not gonna worry about it though. Uh, just probably keep going. Uh, oh, probably over there. Nope. Didn't mean to do it like that, but whatever. Whatever. Do also see these. Nice. Even though I think I already have max number of uh, things. Um, boomerang flowers. That's what they are. That is not what I meant to do. Uh, oh, there are platforms around the edge. Oh! Oh, you're... You're... You're going. You're going. Ba -ba. Ah. Come on. Oh, gaining on ya. We're almost there. Yeah, probably gonna be a shine. Yep. Nice. Nice. Um. We come over here. Have Junior take care of that. Is it gonna be just a fire flower? Um. Anything here? Are you finding something? Oh. Ah, oh, just a coin. Nothing too special. Um, looks like with, with uh, these, it'll lead possibly to a shine. Maybe shards. Or, oh, I think this is just how you're supposed to get in here? I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, now it's pom-pom. Okay. Uh, this one. Because you have the, the pink shuriken. Ah, let me stomp on you. There we go. This one. There we go. Bowser Jr., you're not really helping at this point. I basically have that setting turned on just so then you can point out locations of things that I'm maybe missing. This might actually be a different... Or is it different? I don't know. I mean, it is taller. Probably isn't. Excuse me. Go take care of that. What's it gonna be? Oh, a cat bell. Hopefully it doesn't go the, go away by the time I get up there. Oh, okay. There we go. Now I'm back up to five total cats. Oh, here's, here's Fury Bowser again. Let's run back to the, the Giga Bell. 
Whee. Do this just in case if getting the Fury Bell, like, gets rid of your current power up completely. It shouldn't, but just in case if it does. Yeah. Bloop. Yeah. Time for another kaiju type battle. Seems to just be the same cutscene, but yeah, it's okay. If I hit, whoa! Oh, he has different moves. That's nice. That's nice. It makes things a little more interesting. Okay. Don't lose my Katniss. Katniss Everdeen. I'm pretty sure that the goop is just gonna slow me down, and it's not actually gonna hurt. So yeah, hitting the camera re reset button will um, focus the camera on Bowser. Whee! And pound him. So yeah, it sounds like if you do lose your bell, you can go to another Giga Bell to get another one. Oh yeah, and the one that I just grabbed is now regenerated. I don't know if collecting one again does anything, but I eh, I guess just for the sake I'm Yep, it it does nothing. It does not do anything. Oh, ah shoot. Is it back? Probably isn't. Nope. What it looks like he's gonna do is ground pound again. And then... Pound on him. Oh, oh, you can, uh... Still do some moves while big. But... Yeah. Oh shoot! Oh, no, of course I immediately lose my cat. Oh, do they just not regenerate back after you've used them during a, a battle? Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh, no, I hear it. Oh, he's gonna do the the thing. Oh, okay. And then. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I figured it probably doesn't let you drain his health bar all the way down on one battle. So you have to collect cat shines, presumably to keep trim down his bar, maybe? Is that what it is? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. Oh, little light bit Bowser Jr. That's cute. Can't believe he ran away again. I mean, uh, Dad's the best at everything. <laughs> of course, he knows when it's time to retreat. We need more cat shines. Okay, so just collect more. I gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, and of course there's Fury Blocks over here. That now I can't get. Kind of wonder what happens if you die. Um, or like, quote unquote, lose a life. Uh, so you may think you can just get this, but nope. Invisible wall. So, uh, so yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be 
Lots of invisible platforms. All around. Alrighty. Oh. Come on. There we go. And yeah, I, I didn't want to use a power-up if I didn't need to, because I kind of figured that with this being the start of an, the next area that there would be one kind of right away. And there was. And then I immediately lose it. <laughs> Anything up here? Nope, just some coins. Just some money. Um... Huh. It's, you know, interesting when you literally cannot see how you're supposed to navigate. <laughs> um, probably, probably if we come over here, are there going to be platforms? No, there are not. Well. Well. Uh, there'll be some sort of... Not necessarily opening, but platform? No. Huh. So yeah, there's there's this. But Oh, yeah. Yeah, just up here. I I can sometimes get a little lost with, with new stuff. Hey. And backflip. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you, Bowser Jr. Uh, there we go. Do you see this? I'll just use a cat. Anything? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh... Is that it? Nope, there's there's more to it. Okay. Uh, okay. It's like, I, I, I don't need to be careful. I can just ground pound and then see where I need to go. Okay. This is interesting. This is also the point in the stream where it's just like, okay, I'm, I am starting to get tired, but I... I do want to keep going until noon, just to keep my word. <laughs> ah, shoot. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, and it shows you where things are. Nice. Oh, oh well, I just, well, oh, that actually kind of helped. Nice. Hmm. Uh, where is everything, though? Uh, can I wall jump up? Well, I'm okay. There is platforms up here. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably just go and get that shine that's in here. Ba -ba 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 -ba! So close yet so far. Take a picture of it, why not? Why not? Nice. Oh, yeah, because there's still the wall. That is smart, smart design. Um, yeah, I'll worry about these the next time Fur Fury Bowser wakes up, which may or may not be in, in the stream. Had a bright idea. Have you tried using Amiibo? No, <sighs> I don't have any near me. I think they're somewhere else, probably in my closet or something. 
Fire flower. So yeah, looks like over here. Just keep getting shines, um, even though it looks like he's about to wake up again. Though this does look like a shine over here, um, that you're supposed to just sort of wait on this platform for, but. Oh. I see. Although I think I hear Fury Bowser. I think I hear him, maybe. Yep. So, let's... Yeah, run back to these uh, Fury Blocks. And... I, I guess wait for him. Oh, another... Another bell. So I can do this, then do that. So now I have six, six cats. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh, well, here we go. Backflip on, on to the top of them. Oh, I guess that's a... Uh, Awaken again. But I mean, I'm already at these Fury Blocks, so I'll just worry about these. Come on. Come on. No, you see me. And... Drop down. Ba -da -ba -ba. Blast the Fury Blocks. So, that takes care of that. It's probably the next time that I fight him as Giga Cat Mario. He'll he'll go down. Nice. Um, oh wow, lots of coins. Um, did seem like the Oh, do 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 something else up here. Maybe. Nope. Although there is another item, maybe? Yeah, another cat. Nice. Nice. Hey, Sketchy. How's it going? I am... I am playing... Cat World. <laughs> um... There we go. Oh, it's, uh... It is, yeah. Even though this game only runs at, um... Well, Fury, F the Bowser's Fury. This this part of the the game only runs at 720p, 60 frames. If you're playing in docked, um, still still looks good. I mean, I mean, looks as good as like Mario Odyssey, I'd say, which ran at a similar frame rate and resolution. Oh, well, that was. What exactly was that? Yeah, you can see the the item block kind of sort of reflecting on the water just a touch. Because if you move that, then uh, eh, it's whatever. No, not quite. I was trying to go for the the leaf, so then I could have. More than one, uh, Tanuki suit. Nice, nice. How was, uh, Mario 64 for you? I know for people who aren't used to 3D Mario games, especially, like, Mario 64 can be a little overwhelming for some, some newcomers in certain regards. Um, but, yeah. Come on. There we go. It's probably just going to be a shine. Oh, is there one more? Oh, there is. Ah. There we go. Yep. It's another another cat shine. Woo! Ba -ba -ba. Played it as a kid, so it was pure nostalgia. Nice. Nice. Um, 
did you play it through like the play it again through the 3D All Stars pack or or how exactly did you replay it? <laughs> Do you still have your original N64? If so, that that like that the that's cool. Sorry, sometimes words are difficult for me. Huh. These are completely new enemies that I've never seen before. This is... Interesting. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll go back down to get another propeller block. Woo! Yeah. 3D All-Stars, yeah. Um... Don't... No, if there's a Gigabell here, no, there's not. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Gigabell. That's all the way over, um, over there. Yeah. Played on Joy-Con. Yeah. Um, I mean, there isn't much of a control difference between a Joy-Con Pro controller. Um. I guess I mean you you get the better ergonomics with the the pro controller which is what I'm using right now um yeah pro controller um but yeah I mean Joy-Con are aside from like the possibility of them drifting it's I I think they're they're good controllers other than that but even though they have the possibility of drifting, it's they're still not re reliable enough for for me personally. Yeah, Joy Cons were a mistake, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, like, I I really like the um the general idea of like oh you can like split them up to have essentially one f make one fuller controller into two smaller controllers for some like quick multiplayer but i think because of that the quality was a little gimped and also just because nintendo was probably wanting to get the switch out in stores as soon as they could um so then they could take the wii u off the shelves <laughs> so the quality of the Joy-Con were probably not as good as they should have been. Um. Although, like, any drift that I've gotten... <gasps> you can pick up the things?! Oh, that's cool. Okay, um. Any drift that I've gotten on my Joy-Con has been fixed just by taking a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol and... Oh wow, that just knocks him out. I I don't know if this is gonna kill me. Don't know. Uh, just a Q-tip soaked in isopropyl alcohol, and kind of stick it in the like into where the stick is. Like if you pull the stick up and look, you'll see. Um, yeah, you can like stick the Q-tip in there and get it all moistened and just let it sit for about 10 minutes and then should be good if the drift is caused just by some debris um if it's caused by like the sensor in the stick being broken then yeah that no amount of isopropyl alcohol is going to help you on that shoot sorry But, I think... Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh, stretching. <sighs> and then, of course, it shows something that would be interesting, but... Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I mean, people probably don't necessarily want to see these later areas, so... At least for today. Um... Drugs off, a hit from Mario better than my papa. Get more cat shines. Um. Oh wow, that's basically the whole map. 
Okay. But yeah, that's... I think that's going to be it for for my stream for this this week. Um, just wanted to go until noon. Um, yeah, so far it's a... This pack is um, really nice. Nice that I finally got to play 3D World. Um, I did that f for the first little bit of stream. And then I did ba uh, Bowser's Fury. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for, for this week. Um, next week, I'll... And I'll be talking about this on Twitter and stuff. Um, I will be starting a playthrough of... Pikmin 3 Deluxe's Ultra Spicy difficulty. I've already played through the game a couple times, although it, it has been several months since I've last played through story mode. So, uh, because of that, and because I'm getting a little fatigued with the game's mission mode, I'm kind of itching to play through that game again. So, it'll probably be... Like Saturday, ooh, like Saturday mid afternoon, probably like one to two ish to like five. I'll talk about it more on Twitter throughout the week as I get closer to that point. And I I checked this. I uh, below stream. I have a a link to my Twitter if you're viewing on desktop. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter already, um. Other than that, I think that is going to be it for now. So, until then, I will see you all later. Have a good weekend.